to lead it this far. Look at somebody and say, but if he's upset right now, I feel sorry for him in the near future. Look at somebody and say, I feel sorry for the devil in the near future because I haven't seen, ear haven't heard, nor haven't entered into the hearts of men. The facts come. I wish I had a church. Things God had prepared for them that love him. I want you to know, I want you to know, I'm talking about a man with a promise. The reason why we keep showing up, y'all be seated. The reason why we keep showing up because God made us a promise. I'm not here because I'm beautiful. I'm not, you're not here because you're wonderful. You're not here because you got it all together. You keep coming because you need help. You can somebody say, I keep showing up because I need help. The reason why you will see me next Sunday is because I need help. The reason why you see me in the middle of the week is because I need help. And I know where my help comes from. Look up to all the hills from which coming my help. I wish somebody would lift up their hand and say, oh! I had somebody in here that would help me. I'm almost through. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Lord. So I wonder. Yeah. Yeah. So I tell people. I tell me, y'all be seated. Don't push me. Come on now. Regina, I tell people. Be careful how you handle hurting people. Be, be careful how you handle people that are hurt and people that are don't know how to deal with their hurt ah, mm -hmm. and everything you might say might be offensive yes, yes. because people that are hurt are easily offended yes. but I was reading in the scripture the Bible says the Lord God has given me the tongue of the Lord the tongue of the Lord that I that I should be able to speak a word in season to him that is weary while still he waking morning by morning he waking my ear as the lion it comes a time you will not know how and when to speak everything you shouldn't say some things you should be many of us say and never be but the first thing you ought to do glory to God after you say it is be it I do believe that there's power in what you say because you'll never become what you uh, uh, you'll never be what you should be until you say what you should say. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. I, I believe in order to be saved, you have to confess first. So there's a chronological order. There's a sequence. You're going to have to say something before you be something. Come on. You can never be anything until you say it. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. You can never be anything until you say it. Are you going to be healed until you say it? You got to speak it. You got to say it out of your mouth. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. The Bible says, so shall thy word be. That going forth out of my mouth and not return unto me, boy, but accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where to I sin it. Let me tell you, when you can't be there, you can sit in there. I will say they shut the word. And the word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. I gotta tell you, you gotta know what's in your mouth. If you ever gonna be it in your life, out of your belly. You don't believe it on me, and the scripture has said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Where I go, I shall go. 